So I'm doing an experiment today in my Instant Pot, and of course I wanted to bring you along. I am going to attempt to cook a whole chicken in my teeny tiny Instant Pot Mini. It's the three quart size Instant Pot, and um, I got this chicken from Costco today. I wasn't even planning on doing this video, but then I got these chickens home, and I was like, oh, that would be a fun thing to try uh, to see if I can actually get this chicken to fit in my tiny Instant Pot. So I did not go and try to find the tiniest chicken that I could. This is a pretty average sized chicken. It's just over four pounds. So what I'm gonna be doing as far as a recipe is my favorite way to cook chickens in the Instant Pot. I have a spice rub that I just mixed up that is two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of garlic, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of onion, and a half a teaspoon of paprika. Smoked paprika is what I like. And I will put those measurements down in the description below. I'm gonna use some avocado oil just to rub all over the chicken, sprinkle it all with the rub. And then since I'm using the small Instant Pot, I'm not going to attempt to uh, saute and brown the skin before I cook the chicken. I'm just gonna rub it in the, the oil and the spices. Just because it's such a small surface area down there, I don't think it would be super effective. So I'm just scratching that step. I also don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit my trivet down there in the bottom. I'm gonna try, but I don't want the chicken coming up above the top of the Instant Pot. I need to be able to close the lid. Um, I do believe the chicken will come up above the two-thirds PC Max line, but uh, personally, I'm not worried about that. You don't wanna have liquid going above the PC Max line, but I'm not concerned about just part of the chicken being above there. Of course, use your own discretion and um, do what's, what you're comfortable with. The last ingredient I have is a half a cup of broth. You could also use water, and that's just for the liquid in the bottom of the Instant Pot. And I'm only using half a cup because the chicken releases a lot of liquid when it cooks, and that liquid that it releases counts toward the minimum amount you're supposed to have in your Instant Pot. So I'm only adding just a little bit to get it started coming to pressure. Try with my trivet first, and I may just have to pull that out. Let's see about this. This big old chicken. All right, it's pretty tight in there. It does fit, but I do think I'm just gonna cook it directly in the bottom of the pot instead of trying to use the trivet. If I had just a slightly smaller chicken, I think it would be fine, but this one that's just over four pounds is just a little much to fit in there. Don't wanna waste any of these spices, so I'll get them dumped on the top here. So there it is, it definitely fits. It's, uh, and it's not, it's not super tight in there. I mean, it, there's not a lot of extra room. You couldn't cook a bunch of potatoes or anything else with your chicken, but it does fit a four pound chicken. So the rule of thumb for cooking whole chickens in the Instant Pot is six minutes per pound if the chicken is defrosted. If the chicken is frozen, then 10 minutes per pound. So this one is just over four pounds, so I am gonna do it for 25 minutes. I'm gonna lock my lid, make sure it is on sealing. So I wanna cook it on high pressure, so I'm gonna press the pressure cook button or manual button if you have a different model and then it's already on the high pressure. You can hit pressure level if you need to adjust it to get to the high pressure. And then I'm gonna go up to 25 minutes. So the Instant Pot will come up to pressure. It will cook for 25 minutes and then I will let it natural pressure release for about 10 minutes before I open it up. It's been natural pressure releasing for 10 minutes and the pressure is all the way released already. So I'm gonna open it up and see what it looks like here. I'm gonna check the temperature real quick just to make sure it's up to temp. So it is up to 180 degrees, which is perfect. Now I'm gonna see if I can get it out of here and get it onto my foil lined pan. 
and I'm gonna do an optional step. The chicken is all ready to eat right now and it tastes great, but if you'd like to get a little crispier skin, you can do an optional step of putting it under the broiler in the oven for a few minutes and let the skin get all crispy. So I'm gonna go pop this in the oven on broil for probably five, five minutes or so, but I'm gonna watch it really carefully, make sure it doesn't burn. It just took four minutes on broil to crisp it up real nice. So there is my whole chicken cooked in my Instant Pot Mini. I didn't know if it could do it, but it did. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.